I hope that you are all doing well. Thank you so much for joining me here today where we are going to talk about some of the seasonal changes that we are experiencing here in the spring woods. Briefly, what we are going to do is just walk around and look at some of the things that have changed over the past few weeks. Looking around, you might think, well, it just looked brown, nothing's changing, there are no differences. So we are going to use our observational skills and see what we can find for things changing this spring. So I am going to start with something that isn't growing, but the river. And I believe you can see part of it a few weeks ago, there was still ice in the river and now it's open, water is flowing. There aren't any now, but we have had ducks, a couple loons, and geese using the river already this spring. So let's take a look at some of the growing differences. So we're going to start with hazel. And American hazel is a shrub that grows in our woods. And in the spring, it grows catkins. So here and here are some hazel catkins. Another change on some of the shrubs is that they have started getting leaf buds. And I'll bring you in for a closer look at that. So the camera's not really liking focusing, but I think we've got a pretty good focus there. And I think you can clearly see there are some leaf buds that are starting to open. Their view of the leaf buds. And I think you can see them there. So we've got leaf buds and we have catkins. What can we see for growth? There's a couple things right in the driveway area that are starting to grow. So we've got this lovely plant, which started coming up the other day and I've noticed is a strawberry plant. We've got more little strawberry plants over here. Fun story about these. Last year, these were our only strawberries that actually gave us fruit. So we had little tiny strawberries to eat, which was a lot of fun. So the side of our house is south facing, which gets direct sunlight most of the day. And so it kind of creates a warm microclimate. And a microclimate is just like a little area that has a climate that's different than the rest of the climate. You might have microclimates under evergreen trees, where you can plant plants that prefer shade because the tree will provide the shade. Here on the south side of the house where the sun hits, it kind of warms up faster. So we have things that start to grow in that area faster. And there are a couple plants here that I'd like to show you as well. So we have the strawberry plants that are starting to grow here. We also have one of my favorite spring flowers, not everybody's, but one of mine. And this is, you can probably see, a dandelion plant. So dandelion plants are starting to come back. We have quite a few columbine that grow along the house. And if you notice, there is a columbine plant that is starting to grow also. And one more thing I want to talk about quickly, and that is moss. And if you're thinking moss, what a weird thing to talk about. Moss has something specific that it does during the springs. For much of its life cycle, moss will replicate by essentially cloning itself. And the problem that that causes is it doesn't introduce variety into the moss. But in the spring, it sends up these little stalk-like features. And that helps it be able to, hopefully you can see them, like right on my finger there, yeah. And that allows it to replicate by being fertilized by other moss, which introduces variety into its offspring's DNA, thereby helping create a better, stronger, more adaptable plant. And so we are back where we started. I hope that you enjoyed this look at some of the changes that take place in the spring while we're inside and not necessarily noticing. 
and I hope that this encourages you to go out, take a look around and see what you observe as changes in your area. I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope that you continue to use your curiosity to explore your world and your creativity to improve it. Until next time, thank you.